Too mad means two meals a day. This is me and Richard three years ago. This is me in that red top that I've been using for a cover up here in the house when I'm exercising and cooking. This is another one of me. This is me now, size 12. Mommy's coming. Mommy's coming to sit here, Missy. <laughs> Good girl. Good girls. Oh. All right. No licking. Ah, no. Mommy's going to eat. No, Mommy's going to eat. See? Eat. <laughs> there she is. Missy took off. This is my lunch, brunch, breakfast, first meal of the day, whatever you want to call it. Chef AJ says, vegetables for breakfast. Mm. No licking. Mm. I didn't tell you. The other day, Missy came out here with motion in, in her mouth. She was going back and forth and back and forth, and the mouse was just as stiff as anything. I thought it was dead. She let it go here in the kitchen, and it was far from dead. Went under here, and she was trying to snoop it, and the mouse went out around her and out around there and passed the cat. cat water dish and down the hall. i never seen it since. <laughs> I wonder if it was the same one that was up on them curtains. Oh, look what it did to the lighting. Oh my goodness. It was good. So I did that. Oh well. Sorry. Yep, my parcel has been picked up. I got up to get myself, take my bowl to the sink and put it in soak so I don't smell the food. And it washes easier. And this is what I come back to. I was only gone two minutes. Huh? Mommy's girl? Mm hmm? Mom, mommy's coming. Good girl. There, my brunch is all eaten. I forgot to show you my last bite. Darn it. So, I already said I went to the mail and I weeded and I sat in the screen room and I got my brunch ready and ate that. Here it is Friday, I don't know. For some reason last night it wouldn't let me go into the bank account. Yeah, I'm gonna try now, see what happens. I did it on my phone, my online, on this phone, so. Loading, loading, loading. Richard's pay is in there. And our income tax came. That was fast. What was it, a week? Yay! 
we're going to buy roofing and stuff for the the roofs over there so our wood doesn't get wet and anything we put in the sheds. I'm watching Chantal live. I might wait and watch her tonight when because I'm behind. She started half hour before I she I knew she was there. Hmm. So Yeah, well, I feel good. I got some more weeding done, though. Yeah. It's a disgrace, as my friend D would say. It's a disgrace. <laughs> Hi, D. <Dee. laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I have uh, flabby arms. That's what happens when you're big a long time in your life. And you lose the weight. Like my arm wouldn't be very big around if I didn't have that flopping down. But anyway. Hello? Who's this? Who's this girl? <laughs> Are you trying to ignore mummy? What a beautiful girl she is. Oh my gracious. She is just the most beautiful girl in the whole world wide world. Look at her rough. I sometimes think of her as a Norwegian forest cat, but they have a lot of energy, and this girl does not. You don't have a lot of energy, do you, sweetheart? You're like mommy used to be. Now, I wonder what food I could give you that would... Because for the life of me, I don't know why they have to put in cheese and stuff. But cats don't even eat. They wouldn't eat cheese. No, off of mommy's wire. Good girl. No. Ah. Nope. Mm-mm. You lay down and be a good girl. <laughs> I'll speed this parrot up, guys, because I know it could be boring. <laughs> it could be boring for some people. <laughs> She's a tail swisher. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mom's girl. <laughs> Roll over, let me do your belly. Want your belly rubbed? <laughs> You're laying the wrong way, aren't you? For mom to get at it. <laughs> Don't hang your head down and fall off of here. <laughs> One beige leg. All right. Is that enough? No, Missy's already up there, so. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Okay, now, what were we talking about? I got my phone, uh steadied balanced on my knees <laughs> yeah yeah like last night i checked and there was another new case of covid in nova scotia so why should people make fun of me because i'm still scared i haven't even gone to the hairdresser yet i told you the story about the hairdresser that did our hair last two people allowed in the store and she barged in made three yep so 
You have no control over what other people does and you don't know where they've been and who they brushed up against. So. I'm not the only person in Nova Scotia that's still scared and nervous. I must have a drink of good O H two O from the well. Ah. <laughs> I drink a couple of these a day. Probably four glasses of water. You don't have to drink a gallon of water. No. Well, that's a fad. I don't know where that came from, but same thing as 10,000 steps. You don't have to. Well, I'm almost catching the cats doing something. What's going on here? What are you guys doing? Huh? They're so nervous. <laughs> Was that the wind? What was it? Missy, you leave her alone. She was there first. Missy? Missy girl. Tail flipper. Yeah, it's comfortable in here. It's just this side of... Uh, just this side of being chilly in here. Any chillier, and I'd have to have something on my arms. I didn't open the windows today yet because of the chilliness. They're still there doing the same thing. Missy, what are you doing? Yeah. Are we going to town or not? I do not know. Yeah. I left the phone, the other phone, over there. Way up there, plugged into that pink thing on the cover up there. What is it, Missy? You hear something in the ceiling? Yeah. What is it? Get it. Get it, Missy. Get it. <laughs> oh, my. They're still doing that. They're not doing anything. I thought they might, but catch it on camera. But they don't usually get in a spat unless they're fighting over me or the spot on this sofa bed. You wouldn't believe it, people, how old this sofa bed is. We bought it second hand. Probably, I don't know. It's getting close to 30 years, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. But first, it was people that have yard sales and stuff, and they go around and getting stuff, and they had one. And um, they lived next to my brother. In our old homestead and we got it but it was like a fake a fake leather leather or vinyl or something we brought it home and we couldn't use it I couldn't have it in the house anyway so they were good enough to take it back and they found another one this one that we're, I'm sitting on now and they found it and we got that one from them and that one worked out so yeah so that's been here all these years. Yeah. Are you guys going to do anything or my arms are getting tired from holding this phone up? Well, not really, but... <laughs> Missy. <laughs> She's very <made> bright-eyed. <laughs> She is cute, isn't she? <laughs> what a cute girl. Now she's starting to look grumpy. <laughs> Are you grumpy? Are you a grumpy girl? 
Are you Mom's grumpy girl? <laughs> Have you got yourself fluffed up? Kelly, Mommy's not even talking to you at this point. <clears throat> Chantel of Beauty Beauty. She's got her cat, Sammy, has got two beige legs. Well, they'll do something as soon as I put the phone down. Imagine. <laughs> I imagine. Balance it on there again. Okay. You want the story of how I nearly burnt this place down by accident. It was back in the time in 2001 when the work was being done here on the house. The renovations from a grant I got. And I was sleeping in my green Ford Taurus. And yeah, so it was, it was getting on to winter because it was snow flurries some days, some nights. And... I couldn't sleep in here because of all the, the new smells and everything was moved around and everything anyway I don't know how they did it they probably just moved everything did a piece of it and then put everything back on that it's got the click um, flooring oh what is it called oh what is that flooring called anyway you click it together it didn't have any glue so that was good for me and it wasn't the it wasn't the floor that bothered me I specifically said no wood borders around anything inside of the house I come home one day all the windows I think there was nine windows replaced all the windows have pine boards around them that's why you see that they're all um taped with foil tape and foil around the because see that um foil around the the door casing there and it's around the window casings too I had to do that to hold the the smell of the pine or spruce boards, whatever they were, some kind of softwood. Anyway, so I had to do that. But that's, I was sleeping in my car until they got done. And I had a little ceramic heater. I still have it. And I used to use that. Now, forgive the the fur don't be afraid oh my goodness I hope you couldn't see down my top gee there it is here it's a little ceramic heater And uh, I had that on an extension cord, and I had it plugged in the outside light outlet. I don't know much about power, electricity. Excuse me, little Miss Muffet. Missy, Mummy. You know Mummy wants to sit here. Get going. <laughs> ah, gee. Okay, so that little heater, I had it plugged in. Yeah, I had a plug thing in the inside outlet for an outdoor light. Like, one day I was in here for something, and I could smell 
like a, a electrical burn and smell. Anyway, I just ran in and I shut the main box off in the in the bedroom to all the power to the whole house. And I went from room to room smelling and smelling and I come out in this room here over there by that door right about there that black thing the end of my finger there's three light switch light switches i put my hand on that and it was hot so i got myself a screwdriver and i took it off and inside there the wires were all melted and black in there from And that's how close I came to almost burning this house down. Anyway, my friend, he came to help me or came for a visit or whatever. Anyway, my French friend up on the uh, Matagan on the French shore of Nova Scotia. It's beautiful up there. Anyway, um, he went in there and he I don't know what he did to the wires anyway he put electrical tape on in there and he put the foil tape all around the edge of it and anyway I never did that trick anymore and that's why I'm so after Richard all the time don't plug that in there <laughs> that's why I'm so nervous about that and get after him for that yeah it's not just because I want to nag him but so that's the story of how I nearly burnt the house down. Yeah, and that's when I was here alone. And another time when I was here alone in the winter time. And the power went off. I don't know how many days it was off. Anyway, it froze the pump and broke the pump. And... It got so cold in here that the, the drips on the tap were starting to freeze. So I then, I forget where I went. I don't have very many places to go that don't have smelly, smelly, use, uh, scented, uh, products. So, anyway, he came, about the same friend. And he, yeah, in February, he brought me that electric stove over there from Dartmouth on the back of his van. Oh, uh, yeah, in a snowstorm, we put it in there. I never could use the oven in here because the oven had put a smell in here. I used the burners, and but then it got so bad that I couldn't do that. So that's when we started getting hot plates and electric frying pans and electric this and electric that to use outside. We had a propane stove in the shed down there. Paid $50 for that at the Salvation Army in Liverpool. And, well, first we had it in the shed up here behind and then we put it in the big shed down there. So, Richard used to do most of the cooking out there. And from spring, summer, and fall, I used to take things out on the table out there. And, and and then we did the screen room. This is the second summer for the screen room. So I can leave the things out there. I don't have to bring them in and out, in and out. Yeah. Anyway, that's all to, for people that have environmental illness. As some don't have the allergy. Or not the, it's not an allergy. They don't get sick because of the smell of food, but I do. And I know a couple of other people that are starting to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Richard and that friend, they put a, a vent up and out through the cupboards and out through the side of the door over the stove there to try to help suck some of the smells out. Yeah, so that's how come I have my oven in the back porch and hot, uh, pressure pot out and doors and 
and oven outdoors and that's why because I can't cook in here I can microwave something for four or five minutes but that's all I don't use those burners for anything anymore I got um, a round uh, thing to you it's like hard boil eggs you put them in and you put this here dome over and turn it on and uh, it makes the you know, eggs like hard boiled eggs well even that thing smelled but it was such a short time that I use it out here in the kitchen but I can't store the machine out in here uh, I should do it someday for Richard and show yeah, that's what I'll do. I hope somebody can remind me. I wrote myself here a note last night. Where to put it? Well, so much for leaving myself a note. Story about almost burning the house down. Yep. Now, um... This is a good thing to do, to uh, make a note and write down uh, What is it? Oh yeah There's my note. I got three things on it for ideas for um, ideas for videos. There we go. I have so many notes. Notes on top of notes and it just doesn't work. Yeah, it's, uh, it's people say, well, get yourself a notebook and put it down and write it in there. Well, you write it down there, and by the time you go to look for it, there's so many more notes on top of them and everywhere, so you don't know where that note is, or that notebook, what page it's on, or... Uh-oh, I gotta clean these fingernails if we're going to town, maybe. Woohoo! I won't put you through that misery. This is my pretty garbage can. I don't know how many years ago I bought this, or where I bought it at, but... These fingernails need to be cut. Yeah. Anyway. These are just... Just to... Uh, a hard looking, a hard working woman. That's all, right? This pretty kitty. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? It's got on three different sides. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just leave that story. I'll say totally do for now. Save something for another day. Yeah, quarter after two. Yeah, I don't know if he's getting off at four or what time he's getting off today, but. Or if we're going to town or not, I don't know. I just don't know. Love yous. Oh, I don't know. Last time I looked, there was 254. And I just love having each and every one of yous and yeah so more people can hear that you can change your health by what you eat what are you doing what are you doing on mummy you needing the bread on mummy